Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kill Royale. And today, I'm going to be reviewing a CGI animated film uh, that came out, yeah, a good two years ago. Uh, at the time of this recording, of course. Uh, in 2019, it came out in theaters. I saw the trailers of it, and it didn't intrigue me all that much. And it did get some bad reviews. Yeah, it yeah it didn't it, it received not very really favorable reviews really. And after yeah after a few months, I completely forgot about this movie really. I just I forgot about it. So the film I'm going to be talking about is the one I mean it's the Blu-ray version just so you know the Adams Family yeah. So, yeah, I actually saw this on Walmart, so I thought, oh yeah, this movie exists. So I just thought, well, I guess I'll just do it real quick and review it, because I did review the previous three. Yes, there were three of them prior to this. The previous three and films regarding these characters. Of course, I was first introduced with these characters through the TV show, the you know the original TV show in black and white, and yeah, it was up until the movies came out I started to really like these characters even more. I mean, I liked them before, of course, but you know, still, and yeah, I just figured I'd just do this. I, I did review the other three movies, so I might as well go for this one, of course, and yeah. Why not, I guess? Why not? Anyway, okay, before I get into the story, this one totally ignores the previous in, uh, incarnations of this character. So, in some ways, it's, it's done from scratch. And just, it's sort of brand new, a brand spanking new continuity. It's not connected to the previous uh, installments at all. So, just thought I'd let you know. But anyway, as usual, let's get into the plot, shall we? Then we see Demarte Sean Gomez in this movie, of course. And yeah, they're doing, they're doing their thing. As I was saying, oh yeah. He's going to show plenty of, of affection to her throughout the entire movie, as you would expect. And yeah, he does his thing, that's how he was in the other movies and how he was on the TV show and there you have it. That pretty much summons their relationship I guess you can say. And of course they want to stick together no matter what. Of course there's conflict within the movie. I'm not saying there isn't. Because if there's no conflict, then there's no drama. And if there's no drama, then there's no story. And if there's no story, then there's no reason for me to care. So as I was saying, here comes this one woman, and yes, she, of course, wants to come off like she's really nice and cool and whatnot. But the thing is, she wants to basically sell houses. But the thing is, the Amps family are in the way, so she wants to get rid of them. At which point, this movie heavily reminded me of the original. Maybe a bit too much, if you ask me, but yeah, there you have it. So anyway, as I was saying, of course the the Amos family well just continue to live the gloomy lives in isolation from the outside world, as you may expect. Gomez pretty much prepares his son Pegasley for this up and coming thing. Of course this ritual, this rite of passage, that every male member of the Amos family but have to take to become, you know, a man. So, but at the same time, what's going on with So yeah, that's like a little story bit for them. But, not just that. Okay, the mother does her best to help Wednesday. So, that's something going on with them. So, Wednesday and her mother has a little story bit going on with, uh, you know, each other, just like the father and son are doing their own thing. See that this character here, he does this piano thing pretty much for the entire movie, so that's his little 
story, I guess. And also, we have this character that doesn't make an appearance for a little while. He's supposed to be one of the relatives as well, and he does his own thing on top of that. So, that doesn't mean the overall plot doesn't have any progression, which it does actually. Which I mean, we do get to see that Wednesday goes to school, and at this point, it really reminded me of the whole Mean Girls thing, because, you know, a popular girl does this, and they nerds do that, and of course, Wednesday is going to be considered the outcast of this group. No shit. No, and of course, Pegsley still has his own stuff to do, of course, his own sub-story, sub-plot, whatever you can call it. Of course, he does, like, little jokes here and there. I mean, come to think of it, the villain type character doesn't have a whole lot of screen time. She's gone for a good chunk of the movie. But anyway, back to Wednesday and this one character. Yeah, they start like, having this friendship, I guess, or whatever. As they, you know, hang out quite a few times here and there throughout the story, I suppose. As it progresses. And we're going to see that, hey, look, Wednesday has like, a cute pink looking thing as a way to discover herself. And then there's like a whole bit where Wednesday kind of leaves the family to find her true self or whatever. Kind of doesn't go anywhere, if I'm being honest here, it's just filler, I guess. And then, like, which kind of results the family to have some sort of drama or whatever on itself or doing the fact that this woman Want them like out the neighborhood just so she can sell more houses and whatnot. The other incarnation of Wednesday, if I'm gonna be honest here, really, folks, she just comes up way more sassy. Well, anyway, the blurry version is, of course, in HD. There's deleted scenes, extended scenes, the welcome to the family kind of thing. There's in them a few things, uh, and so yeah, this is truck loaded with a bunch of extras, so that's a good thing. And this film, it's in high definition sound, of course, so as far as the packaging is concerned, it's not a disappointment, that's for sure. We do a few nods to the original series, which I actually thought was quite nice. So, okay, the thing is that I didn't think it was nowhere near as terrible as a lot of reviews made it out to be. And simultaneously, it's nowhere near as good as it should have been, if I'm gonna be honest here. But, if anything, it's your basic run up the mill kind of a family movie, I guess you would say. So, there's some good moments, yes, I gotta say there's good moments, I gotta say that. But, still, I was an overall, I was pretty disappointed with the film, of course. Yes, we get to see that the story is about the Ant family themselves, of course. Years after they moved into this mansion, being hidden there for years, after being chased away by this, like, this angry uh, civilians and whatnot. And, of course, you know, there's that going on, and then. There's like this whole bit of like a new house flip type of show that's thrown into the mix. They discover the show host, like I was saying earlier, the, the blonde woman. She wants to destroy their home to make it fit in the neighborhood. I guess to make it sell better, I guess you can say, or whatnot. On top of that, so you get to see a, a, quite a few other things, I guess you can say, going on in the. Uh, and the story and whatnot, as Paisley, like I was saying earlier, wants to become a true man of the family, I guess you can say. So, yeah, yeah, there's that kind of a thing going on. If anything, if I would give this film any kind of criticism, it would be that. It, like, it, feels, it, it, like, it likes focus. It likes focus just to stick with one thing. What I mean is that, yes, Oh boy, I'm gonna say that. This film does lose its focus because there's way too many subplots going on in this movie. There's this, 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 this XYZ. 
and whatnot. It's just didn't feel right, really. So yeah, I feel like this entire film felt like it was clustered. And yeah, this it reminds me of Spider-Man Three all over again. With many with many things going on simultaneously. So as a result, I kind of feel like nobody nobody was really flushed out all that much at all. And man, I can tell they were trying to do something new, kind of, kind of, I guess, new for this uh, whole, for this whole ass family thing. But at the end of the day, it felt generic, pretty generic. And I don't mind them trying to mix it up a little bit, but the things they chose to mix it up with just feels generic. It was okay. It was okay. Anyway, I'll give it an overall rating of a 5.4 out of 10. It's a 5.4 out of 10 for me because it was okay. Just okay. Later.